it's time for another collection video, at least part two of this collection haul. Up next on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hey there, comic book community. Welcome to another video. Before we get started, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on the other socials, Instagram at Bronzeville underscore comics, whatnot, Bronzeville underscore comics. We do sales every Monday night at 10 p.m. And a lot of the books you're going to see in this video will be available on whatnot, the ones that I'm not keeping. Um, also, we uh, there is a link in the description of this video. If you've not yet used whatnot, you click on the link, you get $10 off your first purchase, regardless of who you buy the item from. Um, also in the description to this video is a link to my email, my eBay store, and to King Con 4 show coming up just weeks away, March 25th and 26th in Island, New Jersey. It's going to be a great two-day show with all of your favorite uh, comic book community members from the Northeast. Uh, Very Gary, Erod 212 Streetside Anthony, 360 Comics, Goodbye Comics. It's going to be uh, a blast. Uh, so if you haven't been to any one of the first three shows and you're in the area, I definitely would check it out. Check out the link in the description. It has a list of all the vendors that will be selling. Three Men in a Basement will be there. Pressable Defects will be there. It's going to be a blast. So um, I had in a previous video, I had picked up a, a collection from an antique dealer that uh, I deal with. The, there were actually three parts to the collection. Uh, there was a... Silver and Bronze Age collection with a number of keys, uh, admittedly mid to lower grade books, but again, books that you don't come upon too often. Uh, so that's uh, all of those books I went through in a previous video. There was a more modern part of the video with one huge key um, and some other books I haven't even gone through yet. And then he says, uh, oh, by the way, just today these books came in. He took out like basically two copy paper boxes of comic books, Silver and Bronze. Um, no, not many huge keys, but a lot of nice books. Uh, mix of both Marvel, DC, and there's some humor books in there as well. But uh, the the books, for the most part, were structurally in, intact. There was some covers uh, split there for some of the older books, but they also um, had gone beyond tanned in some cases almost like a grayish hue on the back of the covers. You'll see some of that as I go through. So what I did was I dug in and we went through both boxes, every book. Let's take a look. Well, this collection also included, um, actually it was a throw in. Uh, some other books had come his way. We bundled it. Um, and there's just, so Marvel Double Feature. Not really big into those reprint books. The, the, the quality here is very variable. Um, our Army at War, Our Fighting Forces, as you often get, uh, Superman, get some split there. It's a decent condition action comics, 330. Actually, that's pretty nice. <laughs> they were all like this, let's see. We got Batman, 20 cent Batman. 20-cent Detective, another 20-cent Batman, nothing wrong. And those are pretty decent shape. giant size Defenders, number one here. Uh, Mid-grade, not bad. Um, here, actually, let's just continue with this pile for a little bit. Marvel Triple Action, Thor 223, a Adventure 323, Action 304, there's some definite work damage there. Uh, that's rough. Look, <coughs> Legion Superheroes reprint book. <coughs> Adventure 316. I gotta see if I need any of these. These are some early adventure comics. 310. Superman 169. This 100 pager with Terra Man, who I've spoken of recently on the channel. The Tomahawk book. Let's go over here. This one's in lower grade. And then he bagged up some books that he did know had value. I'll get to those in a minute. Uh, Brave and the Bold, 56, Flash, and Manhunter for Mars. Was this the first team-up? 
Detective, what number is that? Can't even tell. That is, let's see, 320. <laughs> Robin the Mummy Crime Fighters. That is awesome. Um, Superman 168, Captain America 158, Captain Storm, and ASM 118. Now, there weren't a lot of keys in here. 117, water damage. Ah, no, I think this was the first team up. 50. That's nice. I mean, it's in lower grade. There's some, yeah, definitely <laughs> some aging to it. Cap. Ooh, nice. Hulk uh, ASM book. World's Finest, 134. And here, I'll include these books that he had bagged, um, including a run of the Doctor Strange, right after it had changed titles. Um, I'm not, I really have to, I don't remember off the top of my head the which ones here have key significance, um, but these are all pretty good, good books. An early JLA, number 25. First Mantis, 112. Another early JLA, 28. I think I have all these. 32, 31. This is the uh, issue that Hawkman... <laughs> this was in the other part of the collection. Adam and the Flash, some early Brave and the Bulls. Marvel Premiere, 12. Okay, not bad. And another Marvel Triple Action. Marvel Triple Action was um, one of those reprint books. The, the longest running of the reprint books that Marvel had. Uh, back in those days was um, some fl books flaking here. Brave and the Bold, All American Men of War, number 100. It's a square bound. More Tomahawk, Thor 209, Blackhawk 198, Ooh, World's Finest, Batman's Unmasked. This, this is a book I pick up quite a bit. Um, this is the uh, Justice League 110, second appearance of John Stewart. Captain America 174, Defenders 8, Archie Annual, okay, a coverless Superman 100 pager, Jughead. I think that's missing. Yeah, this back, no back cover. Cap, another Captain Storm. I think this is where Element Lad joins, but that's all beat to heck. No back cover. Um, this one also is in pretty bad shape, 313. So a lot of, um, adventure comics from the early 300s. So that's pretty cool. It's right up my alley. Um, Marvel Double Feature here. This is, ooh, this is a big book. And it is, it's got, so this is, if you can see it, I'm kind of flipping through here. Brave and the Bold 54. Lower grade. This is not an upgrade over the one I have in my personal collection. Um, I'm going to take a close look to see if this is worth getting graded. This is the first Teen Titans, before they're called the Teen Titans. That is an awesome book. Um, another Hulk Spider-Man crossover. Pickle action. Secret Origins 1 reprint book. Blackhawk 185. Blackhawk 194. 193. Batman Annual, number four. I need that. Uh, Thanos cover here. Uh, Avengers 125. Pretty nice shape. Thor 212. Avengers 123. Is this the origin of Mantis? Um, Flash 228. This is a... Oh, well, this one's not bad. Detective Comics uh, 437. This is uh, the first appearance of... The Manhunter, Mark Shaw. Yes. Detective, I actually just picked up a copy of that recently, 433. Um, this, actually, uh, Mystery in Space, 87. I just saw uh, Mint Hunter picked up a copy of this in a collection. First appearance of IQ, Ira Quimby. Mystery in Space, 88. Marvel Premiere, 4. Marvel Spectacular, 1. This is a Thor reprint book. Marvel had a, a several of those reprint books. Um, Marvel Tales, uh, Marvel Triple Action with uh, Avengers, Marvel Spectacular with Thor, Marvel's Greatest Comics with Fantastic Four. Uh, another Batman annual, no back cover. Blackhawk 186, Our Army at War 147, GI Combat 103. 
Batman 100 Pager, uh, 254, I like that book. Thor 220, Marvel Spectacular reprinting the first appearance of the um, High Evolutionary. Superboy 193, <laughs> Adventures of Jerry Lewis, only the cover of that Flash book. Superman, uh, Flash 221. Ooh, that's an oldie. Well, it's finest 139. That is, like, this stuff is tanned to heck. Avengers 113. Yeah, some tanning, not terrible. 117. 119. 121. Detective Comics 441, missing a chunk. Of, ooh, a nice early Detective Comics 322. Is that, yeah, that's complete. Batman 247, Justice League 104, Thor, oh, that's a good one, with Galactus, 226. Next stack. So the biggest book so far is that Teen Titans book. That is a nice one. I'm going to have to, oh, God, stuff flaking off everywhere. Brave and the Bold, Aquaman, and Hawkman, this is number 51. So a lot of those early team-ups. Action 315, Spider-Man 115, Superman 164, rough shape, GI Combat 103. And if you see anything that I'm not picking up as a big key, All-American 102, R-Army War 143, Thor 206, that's rough. Thor 213, it's not bad. Thor 211. Isn't it 212 that's Fire Lord? It seems like some books were picked out of this. Uh, Batman 246. I don't think this is... No, it's Frank Robbins and Irv Novick. It is... Uh, got some spine wear. More R Army at War. More Tomahawk. Blackhawk. 102. Iron Man 66. Our Fighting Forces 84. Is that 84? Marvel Premiere 14. Nice little run of that Marvel premiere of Doctor Strange books. Flash 225, 20 Cent Superman 274, Tomahawk with a Gorilla, Thor 207, Captain America 164, Our Army at War 163. Hey, just a few more in here. And there's some random football card, like a John Jefferson card or something. Jeff West, Chargers punter. Um, Action Comics 422, cover coming off this R Army at War, Superman 269, Justice League 111, Action 232, Captain America 161, Tomahawk 94, Superman 268, just the cover of that Action Comics, that's a, that's a pretty cool one. Uh, G.I. Combat 101, more Gorilla Tomahawk, 93. World's Finest, 224. Dennis the Menace, 71. More Dennis the Menace, 11. No, Christmas, I don't know, issue. All-American Men of War, 101. Captain America, 163. Dennis the Menace, 68. Marvel Double Feature, 4. Brave and the Bold, 113. There is another box of these. So, this is only half of it. Marvel Spectacular. Justice League 103, where the Phantom Stranger joins the team. Thor 216. Marvel Triple Action 16. Uh, Justice League 106, Red Tornado joins. Our Fighting Forces 78. Our Army at War 141. Our Army at War. That cover's coming off. Uh, Our Army at War 144. Batman Annual 6. I might stay. Our Army at War 139. Tomahawk 91. Tomahawk 87. Any Tomahawk fans out there? <laughs> Got plenty of Tomahawk. And this last little bit. Oh, Thor 353. That's kind of out of um, context. Captain Storm 2? 3. Captain Storm 3. Marvel Triple Action 10, Legion of Superheroes 2, reprint book, Avengers 111. Again, all of these, I mean, they weren't the way they were stored, they just got tanned to heck. Uh, Marvel Triple Action 
17, another Kang key. So that's what was in that box. And what's left in the box are a lot of flakes of comic books. Um, these were very dry and somewhat brittle, but um, some cool, cool stuff in there. Uh, happy to have that. Okay, we have one more box to go through in this collection. Again, not a bag and board to be found. <laughs> um, so, Tomahawk. Nice copy there, quite a few Tomahawks. The problem is with this, there's a lot of this discoloration. It's not, it's just, I don't know what it is, old age? I don't know if it's smoke, but you know, tanning, severe tanning. Books um, look old, <laughs> they seem like golden age books. Um, Our Fighting Forces, 81, the same kind of deal. These may include some candidates to um, for me to practice some cleaning techniques on. Even like the Bronze Age book, Captain America 160, has that same. Uh, Dennis the Menace. Uh, another Dennis the Menace special, number 13, the best of. Um, the back cover coming off of Archie's Pals and Gals. They're headed to the beach. Bikini bathing suits prohibited. Um, that, you know, uh, decreases the value of the book. Uh, Avengers 120. Another Tomahawk. 83. Thor 221. Next Hercules. Some Super Sons. World's Finest 221. Um, Superman 206. Doctor, oh, I'm sorry, Marvel premiere number seven. This is the first cover appearance of Wong. Right there. Um, Captain America 165. Our Army at War. Number 130. Our Fighting Forces 77. This could be, is this, a couple of these are sl slight keys because I have to look them up because um, they include panels that Roy Lichtenstein used. I think this is one of them. Yeah, this is this is one of those um, panels. I don't want to kind of book, but you can see it right there. That panel, I think it's that panel. No, no it's, not, it's an ARF ARF panel, not a Sniff Sniff panel. There is a panel that Roy Lichtenstein, who was a uh, pop artist in the 60s, um, and the cover's coming way off. This is a lower grade. Uh, was it this one? I'm not sure if it was this issue or not. But I'll have to research that. More Our Army at War. 142. Nice 20 cent flash. 224 with Green Lantern. I'm not sure if... No, Green Lantern, Neil Adams is no longer doing. Uh, I think there were a couple of Neil Adams books that uh, did Origin of Chop Chop. He seems a little less um, ra uh, racistly depicted there. Captain America 163. Dennis and Menace. All American Men of War. Hubert cover. GI Combat 100. Uh, that's a nice one. Avengers 114. Is this the um, Origin of Mantis Tomahawk? It's actually a nice shape. It does have that... that Discoloration on the back. Um, 20 Cent Flash. It's pretty cool. Blackhawk uh, 201. Blackhawk 200. Our Fighting Forces 82. Superman Annual 1. The cover is, front cover is detached. Dennis the Menace Television Special. And flakes all over the place in this box. Marvel Spectacular Thor reprint, Our Army at War, 34, 100 page action comics. Ooh, this one I had not seen. It's it's in terrible shape. First time through. This is uh, the second part of the, is it? This is issue 22. That's the second part of the first. JLA JSA crossover, but that is a low grade. 
Second large printing, Dennis the Menace in Mexico. Not a La Mole variant. Another Dennis the Menace. Another Dennis the Menace. And another Dennis the Menace. Let's put the books that we've gone through. These are so fragile, some of them. It's, it's really kind of concerning. Uh, let's go through this pile. Brave and the Bold, 106. Adventure Comics, 426. Um, World's Finest, 216. And right behind it is a Superman 270. Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace, missing the back cover. I don't see there, but detached. More Dennis the Menace. <laughs> uh, flaky, flaky. Captain America 140, 156. Marvel Tales. Marvel Tales was the, the main reprint title that Marvel had. Uh, that's the one that ran the longest because it re reprinted Amazing Spider-Man. Superman 271. Our Army at War, 140. Uh, this one's cool. A lot of these are going to be staying in the PC, I think. Um, Bring the Bold, 109. I'm kind of working on that run low-key. Uh, Our Fighting Forces, 83. Oh, this is a nice one. Silver Surfer, Avengers 116. That's in amongst the better condition books. Um, I'm not sure. No, it's not a Marvel value stamp book. Dennis the Menace. Let's just take out a stack here. Bob Hope, 87. Superman, 275. Detective Comics, 438. Love that. Um, I liked that they, they showed like uh, three different, uh, a bunch of different characters they had reprints of. Archie's Christmas Stocking, Marvel Spectacular, Avengers 122, Hawkeye, Last of the Mohicans. That must be from a movie. Oh, that's a nice 12 cent Action Comics. That's odd. Action Comics 600, very late for this. These reprints of Spider-Man books... Um, I'll we'll just throw those as a lot, maybe. Wanted as a reprint book. Jerry Lewis, 84. Then I'm going back to Bob Hope. I'm hoping to find at least, I think there's one decent book in here. Blackhawk, 199. Captain America, 156. Action Comics, 331. S Jimmy Olsen, 193. These are in nice shape. That's, an, that's a pretty sharp book. 97. Mm, a um, famous author's illustrated, so I guess a classics illustrated knockoff. Um, Tomahawk, another Tomahawk. Jerry Lewis, Secret Origins 2. Defenders 7. This was, I think, that Avengers crossover. Another Bob Hope, 86. So we have 86 and 87. Brave and the Bold. Um, hard to tell, read the number there. When these are dark covers, when they printed the number in black, I can't, it's one, 105. World's Finest got cut off the number, miswrapped. This book, I remember this book, uh, I have a 9-4, I think of this, graded. I remember this book, um, my, being homesick when I was in first grade, my dad bringing that to me. Magneto cover in 110. Another 100-pager, World's Finest, Action 435, Superman 165. I just This was in the other box, too. Um, Fighting Forces 87, Detective Comics 435. That's in pretty nice shape. G.I. Comet 107, Our Army at War 131, Justice League 109, Hawkman Quits. Oh, this is a, a key. This is the first uh, Zemo. It's in solid mid-grade, not bad. Not bad. That's a good one. Um, Flash 222, Marvel Team Up 7. Oh, there we go, Classics Illustrated. <laughs> Our Fighting Forces 80 and 85. Flash 226. When I put these in order, there'll probably be some, you know, sort of runs. 
Thor 224, Marvel Premiere 8, a number of these Marvel Premieres. Um, Justice League 112, Batman 257, can't go wrong with Batman. Oh, this is a pretty good book. Um, Superman 276, this is kind of a proto Superman Shazam battle. 12 cent action, 328, Superman at the Dentist. <laughs> And Superman 277. Oh, this is a nice one. This is, I think, the only Joker appearance. Let me check this. No, this is afterwards. Um, and Batman and the Joker. That's in pretty nice shape. Avengers 118. That's a nice book. Another Marvel premiere. World's Finest seemed to be a popular title with this collector, as did Action. And Dennis the Menace. Thor, Defenders 12, Superman 267, or Dennis the Menace. Oh, there's, there is comic book flakes all over the place here. I'm going to have to really vacuum in here. Um, another GI Combat, Action Comics. Nice 12 cent Action Comics. Uh, I'm going to have to go through those for some reason. Superman Special Edition, um, Despair. Whatever that is, Monolith. I'm not even gonna open that up. Blackhawk 202. A lot of these Blackhawks are around issue 200. GI Combat 164. Captain America 169. All American Men of War 106. I don't know if any of these are keys. Thor 219. Some random back cover. Yeah. All American Men of War. Superboy 201. Uh, Captain America 167. Marvel Tales. Dennis the Menace. Another, oh, that's Dennis's back cover. Another Tomahawk. I have to find a Tomahawk fan. Uh, Random World's Finest. I might go with this book. 138. Super Sons, 222. Oh, nice Batman. 20 Center, 250. That's a nice book to have. Again, it's got this... I don't even know what causes that discoloration. It's not... I don't think it's water damage. I think it's just... Maybe it was, but it's not really... The books aren't warped at all. Captain Storm, Avengers 124, Defender D11, another cool Detective Comics 100-pager, Blackhawk 191, Tomahawk, looks like the Floronic Man. Oops. So not many, like, big keys in here. A lot of nice book, Archie, Archie, a Batman. Always like to, like, it's interesting, like, the back cover's got the damage. Maybe because that's not bad, though. That's good. Upper part of mid-grade. Sergeant Rock's Prize Battle Tales. Batman Annual 5. In action 28. Superman 273. And we got a couple little stacks left. Marvel Spectacular, Avengers 109, it's a minor key, this is Avengers 126 with Claw, Marvel Triple Action, look at the whites on that though, how did this, like this held up like extraordinarily white both front and back, um, Superman's Pal Jimmy Olsen 91, Action Comics 329, Brave and the Bold 108, Fighting Forces, ooh, an Adam book, I collect Adam. That might stay in the PC. I like this one. Batman and Wildcat. Nice. Oh, this is with the, uh, the like, the Popeye um, knockoff, uh, 421. But again, it's got this. I don't know if that's smoke damage or what. Um, and that's, I don't know how to grade that. Secret Origin 6. It would be lower grade. Ah, oh, this is a nice hundred pager. This is this isn't even this is a DC seventeen, and it is in pretty nice shape. I might see if this is an upgrade over the one I have. Um, Action four thirty three, Jerry Lewis seventy nine, Captain America one seventy one, GI Combat one o something or other one o eight. Oh, nice. That's I mean it's not a big key, but it's I think is that Kaluta cover, Batman in the Shadow. Nice, 253. Cool. And then the last stack of books. And you can see, I don't know if you can see what, look, yeah, you probably see all the flakes in there. 
Marvel Spectacular, World's Finest, Blackhawk is a, 195 is a mess. Okay, a detective, 20 cent detective, that's not bad. This one that everyone has, Captain Guts Comics. It's probably worth like $200 or something. Probably not. Our Fighting Force is 76, Thor 214, Thor 210, Thor 215, Justice League of America 105. This is, I think, Red Tornado Joins or Elongated Man? I'm not sure. Brave and the Bold 112, Action 430, Blackhawk 197, and 196. Jimmy Olsen, 79, the red-headed beetle of the 1000 BC. That is really uh, aged, exactly as you think it would be. More Jimmy Olsen, 105, and this one, it's got a little bit of foxing there, but some of these Jimmy Olsons, maybe that was like untouched. And you could, I mean, I don't know if you can see how, like my hands are really dirty. I'm not gonna touch anything else until I wash them. So that's the final box. Just a decent amount of um, silver and bronze books. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, a lot of these, when I go through them and grade them, I might keep them in the PC and a lot of others are going to be going, coming to whatnot. So thanks. So there, there you have it. That's every book in both of those boxes. Some really good stuff, some stuff that is aged. Uh, these books, none of them were in bags and boards. So I had to put all of that together. So let me know what you think of the haul. Uh, that was almost like an add-on to this other collection that I got. So I thought it was a pretty good, healthy add-on. Some, some really nice books in there. And if you're interested in any of them, check out my Whatnot show. Monday nights at 10 p.m. Um, I'm not, some of them I'm going to be keeping. I have to check to see what I need to fill in in my PC for some of the runs, like some of the earlier adventure comics I think I might need. Um, but a lot of the books will be available. Check out the store. Uh, I in the process right now of going through condition and bagging and boarding all the books. So let me know what you what you're interested in. What do you think was the best book in there? Uh, leave that in the comment below. In the meantime, you can take a look at a couple of my other videos here. I'll link the first part of this collection here. And this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.